Hey guys, how you doing man? So uh, I have a little video going on today and we're going to talk about what does it take to become a professional tree climber and a freelance tree climber and that is a majority of my job of what I do believe it or not and um, I'm going to take you and show you. Okay, so the first thing I have is you need an assortment of wedges and an axe, okay? This is a custom made crane sling that the carabiners go up there, let it lock in, and then this is rated, uh, each ring is rated for like 1,900 pounds, and uh, I got two of them here, and that's what I use my life support. I even go down to my own crane rigging. Uh, I just replaced this stuff, my other stuff was worn out. Uh, so I try to keep my own crane straps I got a couple 20 footers, but I don't have those in here. I got my uh, old crane straps that I use for uh, redirect or something that is just no good. Another thing, you need a quality pair of gaffs. You know, you're going to be in them all day long. You know, you're doing this for production, so saddle, it is time to replace it. I can already hear the comments now. And I use a 15 foot cable core. I keep on me at all times as a climbing saw. O20T, I keep a mid-grade a mid saw, that happens to be a 261 with a 3 8 and I run a 460 with a Maxwell air cleaner and a dual port muffler with a 20 inch bar, full skip. And then you need a handsaw, got to do it, got to have a handsaw. Uh, I always try to keep my own ropes on me, right now I'm running 2 half inch uh, ropes plus uh, five eighths rigging rope. Uh, most of the time, I replace them after a few months, you know, or maybe even a year. All depends on how hard and heavy I use them. My blue rope is just about done worn out, so she will be getting axed and just being a pole over line pretty soon. Uh, that's one porter wrap. I usually keep two on me at all times. Then we come up to here. So then we got some ABR rings going on here. This one is a double ring, 15 foot long. This is three rings, non-retrievable. Three rings, retrievable. And I got friction saver, friction saver, friction saver. And I got another sling over here. And most importantly, I got my climbing line. I always try to replace my climbing line uh, at least every six months. Uh, right now I'm running two, I'm running the Vortex, uh, I'm running the Vortex, Samson Vortex, and I run the Cool too. I always keep extra friction savers. I also have right now a use saver that I let somebody borrow to try out to see what he thought about it, but I use that quite a bit too. Uh, I keep one you saver I keep one you saver to um, for pine because this thing just gets covered in pine and uh, yeah so I try to always do that most important thing about being a freelance street climber is doing what you say you can do and showing up on the job um, try to keep your own equipment don't trust theirs most of the time it's not even worth uh, using so you know charge the right amount of money don't climb for free and be safe